Hey, what's up guys? Alan here with EatSleepTrade.net. Uh, Going to be bringing you guys the swing trading watch list for the week of March 7th, 2016. Uh, the market has had an awesome uh, two weeks since our last update. And we're going to be taking a look at the S&P 500 as well as going over um, a couple of stocks that we're going to be adding to our swing trading watch list. Um, if you guys did not check out our previous swing trading watch list, I recommend that you do check it out as there are uh, not only a lot of plays off that list that worked out and put in some big breakouts, uh, but a lot of stocks off the list that are setting up again and uh, look like they could be ready to make another breakout or a move higher. All right, guys, with that being said, uh, let's jump into the watch list here. And first up, we're going to take a look at the SPX. All right, guys, taking a look here at the uh, S&P 500 um, last week or actually two weeks ago when we put our last watch list up. Um, we were talking about uh, this channel here that we had been trading in. You know, you had a, a double top here around 1950. You had a double bottom here uh, right around 1800. And it was only a matter of time uh, before either sellers up here ran out or buyers down here ran out. And one of those ranges were broken and it moved to either the top or to the bottom. And as you guys can see, we got that move to the top side and we mentioned um, if we get a big breakout through that 1950 area then we're going to be looking for a test up to 2000 and our high uh, on Friday was 2009 so we were pretty right on the money with that and another uh, interesting thing here to watch into next week is kind of this downtrend that we first started uh, before the huge sell-off occurred and we're kind of coming up to wanting to test that uh, that uh, downtrend area. Um, so coming into next week, we got a pretty big fight. This 2000 area, um, as you can see, was a major area of support and resistance multiple times on the chart. So that 2000 area is really going to play a big part. If we get up through that, possibly get above this trend line, maybe we see a new move back up towards this 2070, 2080 area. Uh, so that's what we're going to be watching going into the next couple weeks as far as the SPX goes. Um, so love the setup right now. Uh, things are definitely looking up and working out currently into the bull favors. Now, long term, I still see um, a lot of troubles that we get ahead that we have to get ahead. Uh, for example, you know, our downtrend chart here. This could be a new uh, lower high and we could continue uh, lower after that it'd be more in a longer term uh, bear market but either way um, as of right now things are uh, in favor of the bulls and definitely headed in the right directions all right with that being said uh, let's take a look at the first stock this week and that is going to be ARIA So this this stock's coming off of a uh, a pretty big uh, downtrend here, and we're starting to peak above that downtrend area, and um, also putting in a flag setup. So you're going to notice a lot this week. We've got a lot of possible trend reversals and a lot of possible uh, uh, flag setups as well. Um, you can see your moving averages are starting to curl back up. Um, we've put in a higher low and had a nice breakout and really going to be watching um, for this $6 area to hold a support and a move back towards this 660 area with the breakout there. If we get above 660, could give us room up to this 720 area. Um, with big volume, this thing can have a pretty large range. Uh, as you see back here in early August 2015, which was probably right before the crash occurred in the market and probably related to this big gap down and sell off. Um, but you see it traded big volume and, and put a range in of almost 350 a share. So keep an eye on this. Uh, we're consolidating up here. We're above our moving averages. They're starting to curl up. 
we're not overbought on the RSI, so we have room to that top side, and we could see it move up to the 720 area. Next up on the list, we're going to go ahead and take a look at AGEN. Another one here you could see um, after putting in its top all the way up here around 10, uh, just been in a pretty major sell off. Um, kind of started to find a base down here off the bottom and got some volume and made a pretty big um, a bottom bounce here up to just under $4. Um, so going to watch this, nothing I would buy at these levels, but look for that pullback. Uh, we're above both of our moving averages now, 20 and 50 day. So look for some type of pullback consolidation, maybe a hold of that 50 day, 20 days starting to come up towards that 50 day. Look for maybe a cross. And uh, if we get a break back above four, we really do have uh, room up to five on this one over, you know, for a two or three day move. Uh, so look for, again, a pullback. Don't buy into this high. You know, you're already extended up three, four days. You're getting close to that overbought area on the RSI. As you can see from the past, it has no problem, uh, you know, breaking above that overbought area. So the chart still has room to move, but we need a pullback or consolidation, a flag set up, then that break higher and a possible move towards $5. Next up, let's take a look at FIG. Again, you guys can see the uh, the downtrend here. There's a lot of stocks that are, uh, as stated before, coming off their bottoms and looking to put in some downtrend reversals. Now, uh, one of the important things about trading a downtrend reversal, um, because a stock breaks its downtrend and uh, makes a trend reversal, doesn't mean it continues up forever, but it gives you an opportunity to hit this big breakout where that reversal where would occur. Now, if a stock continues trending up, then you would wait for the next dip buy the dip, sell the breakout. That's the whole idea, uh, you know, basically behind our swing trading strategies here. Uh, so you can see the nice big ramp, um, big volume coming in uh, relative wise, nothing compared to these big days, uh, but still big relative volume. We're not overbought and we're right testing that, uh, that downtrend line. Beautiful little flag set up and we're going to be looking for a move over this 485 area. So that move over 485 breakout on that flag could uh, you know, give us some room up to this next area here up around 530. So that's what we're going to be watching there. Look for this thing to continue to hold up. You can see the 20 day is swinging right up towards that 50 day looking to make that cross and a nice breakout towards 530 would probably give us that cross we're looking for. Next up, let's take a look at LXRX. Uh, kind of a sloppy chart here. Um, I will say it tends to gap up, as you can see, uh, more than it gaps down. Uh, but when it sells, it could also sell very hard. Um, so kind of a choppy chart and probably not something I will trade, um, but it is something to kind of to keep on watch when it's had this big huge range coming off its bottom. Again, same common pattern we've been seeing where our moving averages are starting to turn up and stocks are looking like they want to uh, start trending the other direction. Uh, they pulled back on the RSI, so basically a flag set up here, and I'm just going to watch that flag set up, see if we start getting a move back towards these highs, and if we do, we could see a move up towards 12.30 on this gap fill, and a break through 12.30, then we start messing with these prior highs up here uh, around 13.50s, 13.60s. All right, next up, let's take a look at M-A-C-K. All right, so M-A-C-K, you can see the um, downtrend that it's been on for some time. Not quite at that trend reversal stage, um, but I do like the rounding bottom here, starting to put in a nice base, coming off a, uh, a five or six day ramp, and now putting in that uh, perfect little flag setup for us. And one of the things I really like about this particular flag setup is we've broken above our 50 and 20 day moving averages, consolidating above both of those. So that 50 day moving average really gives us a set risk if we get an opportunity to take a trade on this and start to see a breakout uh, back above these, these prior highs here uh, around that $7 area.
Next up on the list, let's take a look at PDLI. Oops. And another one that's just, uh, you know, same concept. It's been trending uh, down for quite some time. Looks like it wants to try to come up and test that downtrend. Still has ways to go. Um, but if we take a look at the big volume we had on this day with the breakout, the high of 357, uh, wasn't able to hold up in that 350 area, ended up selling off. But here we are again, just about a week and a half later, and we're right back up testing that 350 area. Now setting up a nice daily flag, both consolidating above our 50 and 20 day moving averages, our RSI, again, not overbought, still got room to move to that top side. So on this one here, we've got you know basically a perfect little flag set up. And if you get any type of breakout over this area, that would be your entry. Uh, tight range on this day, which gives you a great risk versus reward setup. Looking for the breakout over 350 um, and a move up to at least 380, uh, even possibly higher than that uh, if we can get through there. But 380 is going to be uh, the first step on a flag breakout. Next up on the list, RESI. Again, stock trending down, coming off its bottom, putting in a, uh, a nice little inverted head and shoulder type pattern here. Um, very similar chart setup to uh, PDLI that we just looked at. You can see the huge volume candle here had the breakout up to 11 bucks, wasn't able to hold on, sold off, but then buyers stepped in and now we're right back up to that $11 area and setting up a flag, consolidating above both of our 50 and 20 day moving averages. So really we're looking for a move breakout above 11 bucks. Uh, next resistance is going to come in here about 1160 through that puts us up to around 1230 on a gap fill. Uh, so a lot of range on this one and good potential, small risk reward. You can see the big volume that was traded on Friday and, and the stock held above its 50 day moving average. So again, being so close to that 50 day moving average, it gives you a great set risk on a big breakout up towards 1160, maybe even towards 1230. And last but not least, we're going to take a look at time. You can see the inverted head and shoulders. It's put down here, which is the sign of a, a trend reversal or a downtrend reversal per se. Uh, you see the steep downtrend line. The steeper the trend line, less reliable it is. Uh, but the stock has put in a higher low and now peaked out above its trend uh, downtrend line, getting above its 50 and 20 day moving average as well great volume coming in big buyers stepping up off this bottom uh, so really we're going to be looking for a move back over uh, 1470 1475 and that's going to be our breakout area uh, and a confirmation on trend reversal Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this week's watch list. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. Also check out the website eatsleeptrade.net. Uh, if you guys haven't been there in a while, we are redeveloping our entire uh, swing trading lessons and uh, making things a little bit more user friendly and adding a lot more information. Uh, so if you haven't checked those out, please visit the site eatsleeptrade.net check out all the new stuff and we will see you in the next video guys thanks for watching and good luck into this week hope that the bull market will continue